Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about what it means to be specific. Few students have escaped the exhortation from their English teachers to be more specific. George Orwell, celebrated author of Animal Farm in 1984, has charged, the whole tendency of modern prose is away from concreteness. But what do specific and concrete mean? It turns out to be a problem since the answer is relative. In an attempt to explain the continuum between the specific and the abstract, the linguist S.I. Hayakawa, in his book Language in Thought and Action, invented the notion of a ladder of abstraction. To see how the ladder works, let's start near the bottom with a Rhode Island Red. If we were to ask what a Rhode Island Red was, we'd simply say a chicken which is the category that contains a number of different kinds of chicken. We would ask what category chicken would belong to, and we would answer food or farm animal if we wanted, but let's make it easy and just answer bird. The category containing birds would be animals. The category containing animals, let's say living things. Note that as we go up the ladder, we become more abstract, less specific or concrete, farther from our picture of a Rhode Island Red. Now we have just one more rung to fill. What is more specific than a Rhode Island Red? Simple. Roger, the Rhode Island Red rooster. Roger is the single Rhode Island Red with his own personality and individuality. Roger is specific. Everything above Roger on the ladder of abstraction is increasingly abstract, farther from Roger. As Orwell would tell you, while we need abstractions or generalizations in our thinking and in our writing, good writing hinges on the concrete, on Roger. So from now on, when I tell you I want to see examples or anecdotes or descriptions that are specific, I want them to be Roger level specific, showing me the thing itself, the instance, the person in the place where the incident takes place, the species and color and arrangement of the flowers in the glass or clay or wood or brass or tin vase containing them. That's your code word. To be specific is to be Roger level on the ladder of abstraction. Let's look at one example, the beginning of the essay by Brent Staples, Just Walk On By. Notice that there are two specific people involved. The action takes place at a single time and location. My first victim was a woman, white, well-dressed, probably in her early 20s. I came upon her late one evening on a deserted street in Hyde Park a relatively affluent neighborhood in an otherwise mean, impoverished section of Chicago. As I swung onto the avenue behind her, there seemed to be a discreet, uninflammatory distance between us. Not so. She cast back a worried glance. To her, the youngish black man, a broad six feet two inches, with a beard and billowing hair, both hands shoved into the pockets of a bulky military jacket, seemed menacingly close. After a few more quick glimpses, she picked up her pace and was soon running in earnest. Within seconds, she disappeared into a cross street. Now you know what it means to be specific. Roger level specific. It's your code word for writing about one place or thing or a sequence of events, and it's the key to compelling writing. That's it for this edition. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel below. You can find workbooks to practice your writing skills at Amazon and my blog through the links that follow. Thanks for listening.